Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy Elliott. In this video, I want to teach you the two ways to handle an objection. I need to think about it. And I'm going to teach you both ways, okay? By the way, in a car dealership, this is for our automotive sales pros who want to kill it. In a car dealership, you're going to get it on the lot, and then also you're going to get it when you're presenting numbers. If you watch this video, you're going to learn both ways to handle. I need to think about it. Let's kill it. <laughs> Hey guys, all right, here we go. Everybody grab a pen, grab a piece of paper, and let's get ready to become a professional and not be a freaking amateur like the rest of the world out there, okay? I'm gonna train you to be the best. By the way, you wanna make a half a million a year? Guess what you gotta do? Just be the top 1% in the industry. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you, if you're an automotive sales pro, how to handle, I need to think about it in two different areas, okay? So grab your pen, grab your piece of paper. Number one is gonna be on the lot, okay? By the way, I wanna explain something to you real quick. I don't know if anybody's ever shared this with you, but there's four things that are important if you're a car salesman, four things. And you're always, your goal is always moving the needle across all the way to the close. So number one, right? A customer comes in on the lot, what are you gonna do? Number one, you're gonna greet them, so there's the up. There's the customer. Once the customer comes in, you're gonna to go to a test drive. That's number two. After the test drive, you're gonna do what? Take them to a write-up sheet. You're going to get their information and get ready for a proposal. That's number three. So we got up, test drive, write-up sheet, and then number four is we got the close. We're going to close them. If you can't get a customer to a write-up sheet, you're not going to close them. If you can't get a customer to a test drive, you're not going to get to a write-up sheet and you're not going to close them. So I'm going to go to, now we just got off the test drive, so we're on step two. We're getting off the test drive, the client's sitting in front of the building, they get out of the car, we're going to hit them with the trial close. Hey Mr. and Mrs. Johnson, how do you guys want your new car title? Then just your name or in both your names, which way? We hit them with the trial close. They're going to say, Andy, I need to think about it. Watch it. So, hey, Andy, we appreciate it, but we really need to think about it. I'm going to say something like this. Hey, guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254, 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Of course, you need to think about it. Guys, I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. What I'd like to do is give you a quick five minute proposal of all the numbers so when you go home, you got something to think about. Would that be fair? Can I get that for you? And I'm gonna take my hand and stick it in their chest, like this. So watch this. Andy, I need to think about it. Of course you guys need to think about it. Listen, I haven't given you enough information not to think about it. What I would like to do is give you a quick five minute proposal of all the numbers so when you go home, you got something to think about. Would that be fair? hand and chest. They'll always say, oh yeah, that'd be fair. And then boom, grab their hand, take them inside. Where are we going now? Step three, right up. So now we're on the inside, okay? They're sitting down at the table and this is what I'm gonna do. They're not getting information and leaving in five minutes. I'm going to do my job right and I'm gonna earn the right to sell them a car, okay? Everybody write down, earn the right. Now you gotta do your job and be a professional, okay? All right, so here's what I'm gonna say. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, hypothetically, when you're all ready to buy, how do you want your new car title, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and get that information, and I'm gonna say, now you guys do have the vehicle outside that you're trading in today, is that correct? Yeah, okay, awesome. Let me go ahead and get the keys to your trade-in. I'm gonna have my manager check that out for the proposal. Also, you do have a monthly payment on the car you're trading in, is that correct? Yes, okay, awesome. Now, it is important on the new vehicle that we get the payment to the penny on the new car, am I right? Yeah, okay, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and get two seconds of information so I can get you the payment to the penny and get you all the numbers you need. Fair? All right, cool. So now, guys, what do I have? I have a write-up sheet. I have a trade card. I have the keys to their trade. I have a credit application. Guys, they're buying a car. Now you're gonna go outside, you're gonna check their vehicle out, you're gonna see, does it have high miles, does it have low miles, does it need tires, does it got a dent on the rear bumper? You're gonna get a chance to look at their car and see how they've been living. Is the dash lit up like a Christmas tree? I don't know, you're getting in the car for the first time, but you're going to know now. We went from the lot, I needed to think about it, to now we've got a full blown write up sheet, you're inside with your managers, right? You got a whole team ready to help you with anything you need, and guess what? You're appraising their car, pulling their credit, getting ready to, to sell them a vehicle. That's it, that's how easy this works. All right, stop. Now you're going to close the deal. Let's say you're sitting on the pencil. 
the proposal. You have the numbers, okay? You're coming out, guys, great news, I got a way to go, and you're going over the numbers with them. And then in the middle of going over the numbers, you're talking about it, they say, hey Andy, I need to think about it. Now remember, this is while working the car deal. Numbers have been presented. This is past the pencil point. Now we're working the deal. We're looking to get a signature and lock this sucker up and take him to finance. And they say, Andy, I really appreciate it, but I need to think about it. You say, hey, number one, I totally understand. Listen, I've been doing this for a long time. And when someone says they need to think about it, what I've learned is that it's either one of two things. Number one, you're no longer interested in the vehicle, okay? But I don't think that's the problem because I think you guys love the car. We wouldn't have made it this far if you didn't like it. So it leads me to believe it's the second thing, that something's concerning you within the numbers of the deal. What is it that's concerning you the most? Is it the price, the payment, or the trade-in? Which one? At that point in time, I want you to take the paper, the worksheet. I want you to take your pen. I want you to point it to the price, the payment, or the trade-in, and I want you to turn your shoulder and go, which one? See, we're gonna change, I need to think about it, to them answering, well, it, it is the payment. You say, hey, I totally understand. Let me show you how affordable your new vehicle is. Boom, flip over the sheet. Or they say, ah, Andy, we wanted more for our trade-in. Hey, I totally understand. Let me show you how we've arrived at the top value for your trade-in. Flip the piece of paper over. You see what I'm saying? Guys, this is how we get to the real objection, get past the stall so we can close. So this is really important right now. If you're taking notes, okay? My last year selling cars, I made 716 grand in a bad market, guys. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I wasn't that great. I trained every day, but compared to who I am now, oh my gosh. If you guys wanna go to another level, and I mean, I'm serious. I'm talking about making a half a million plus a year. We're in the era, in 2023 right now when I'm making this video, we're in the era of the worst salesman in the history of time. Entitlement, pride, ego, it's entitlement nation out there. Literally so many people have settled, it's never been easier for you to be great and build a name for yourself, okay? And I'd love to help you do that. I have released a training system called Project 500. Let me explain to you what it is. It's a training center that I've built, took me two years to build, that will teach people how to make over a half a million dollars a year selling. Now listen to me, and I mean this. If you wanna to go to another level and you look in the mirror, you're looking at your ATM receipt, and you're like, man, dude, I can do better than that. Shoot me a text message right now. I want you to text me personally, 918-210-0254. Shoot me a text, 918-210-0254. Listen. Don't be paralyzed with fear, okay? If you're not where you wanna be, they say when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. That's me. Shoot me a text, guys. Let's crush it, let's kill it. I hope this video with me teaching you how to overcome I need to think about it from the lot and on the inside really helps you. There's many other ways to do it, but this is the basic foundation to overcoming objections. Guys, shoot me a text if you need help. Crush it and kill it. I'm grateful for you. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.